respectfully, disrespectfully. My, my mission is so much bigger. And if I got to walk through you, walk through hell of the UK fans to make my heaven, it's going to happen. Pissed off. Difference. Because boxing is not a team sport. You have support from your coaches. You have your training partners beside you. But when it's you and I in the ring or you and whoever in the ring, it's just you two. So I blame agree. blaming yeah, your coach. Is, I saw the interviews, now. and that's why I said what I said. Because when you when you lose, you could throw the blame. When I lose, they throw me away. This is real talk because the loss you just took after you done made money, after you done sold out arenas, after you done had, I took that loss the first time on a two weeks notice, and had to rebuild. And you see where I'm at. Let's get back. Relax and take no. Hey, welcome to OTB Boxing School, where we make casual fans real fans. We got the fifth, I, I repeat that, the fifth women's undisputed matchup of the year on our hands. But before we get into the film and any of that, I need all my new students, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, so they let you know when OTB back in the lab, man. And uh, all my old students, man, faculty lunch ladies everybody that's a part of this uh this um channel and the movement and what we bring to the sport of boxing man a big stepper i appreciate y'all man i appreciate the patience as we soak our feet into the sport of boxing full time man we appreciate everybody who made this um possible but hey Backstory, man. Savannah Marshall, Franchon Jazern Cruz. Neither one of these ladies had to take this fight. Um, Franchon Jazern Cruz could have took an easy fight. She could have took a, a, a um a man, one of her mandatories, none of which Savannah Marshall is. Savannah Marshall, she's moving, I believe, down in weight to take this fight with Franchon Jazern Cruz. So I'm really um elated to see both of these women doing what was necessary for the sport of women's boxing man that's that's big and um i want us to to congratulate both of these women win lose a draw for doing so but let's get into the film man as we see um savannah marshall land her right hand and she stays on the line once she lands these punches because she's not a um a great volume puncher she don't throw punches in bunches she really looks to hurt you with every punch and a lot of times that's to her detriment as y'all know if y'all watch the um, Clarissa Shields breakdown but iron sharpens iron so we'll see a much better Savannah Marshall than we seen in this fight but this video as you can see her getting caught with that straight right hand from an unnecessary roll because when she slips or she rolls it's not with a defensive purpose it's not from her watching shoulders it's not to create an angle to land her shot or to um, get off the line and, and make the power hand and visible to some you understand it's just to close the distance and to make it appear to her opponent that um she has some type of defensive purpose and we all know a moving target is the hardest target to hit so she's somewhat successful at it however franchine jazern cruz is a fighter that throws punches and bunches and um provided she doesn't tire out that will really be a way for her to land um to land a lot of punches and to get a lot of points as we can see savannah marshall get caught on the line again from just not being active once she throws once she shoots her shot because she shoots her whole load pause yeah you know i mean she really does shoot her whole load a lot and she brings her hips with her with all these punches which means that she doesn't have a lot of defensive purpose and once she abandons that jab that she has then it really makes her easy to counter so i really look for Franchine Jazern Cruz to capitalize off of that. Now, right here, what I wanted to show you was just how sharp um, Clarissa Shields was and that she will, Matt, Savannah Marshall will land her punch. If I didn't see anything else from this fight, I can say that she'll land her punch as we could see her get caught. Um, as we can see, Clarissa Shields not setting up her punches. She going to reset on the line. And just watch her as she does work the jab. Go downstairs to the body. You know what I mean? And then 
and then get her head off the line. Now she backs up and she's not too active. But what I wanted to note in this at this section of this video is that when she works behind that jab, she can be successful. However, when she's not active, then she does this slipping and rolling, which is unnecessary, and it can be timed by a good puncher. Now, for a puncher like Franchon Jazern Cruz, who's gonna throw a lot of punches and bunches, then um we can really expect for her to land her punch at will. Um, at certain portions of this fight and I think that Franchon Jazern Cruz will win this fight um, provided her legs don't give out on her but what we're going to look at in this next video is the fact that Savannah Marshall is a tough girl y'all look at these shots that she takes from she just went 12 rounds with the go 10 rounds with the goal so we can really expect for her to be um, a much better and a much tighter Savannah Marshall now provided that um zone lets the uh, Dejern Cruz film play. Um, Dejern Cruz has the flaw of running out of gas in fights and provided she runs out of gas and she has a tendency of fighting in spurts from um, being such a high volume puncher. But I really think that Savannah Marshall can land her punch later in this fight and she can win this fight provided um, she's patient enough to do so and she can weather the storms that um, the HH Diva is going to bring because you best believe she called herself the hard hand Diva for a reason and I'm expecting a fight for all 12 rounds, for all 10 rounds of this fight but what I wanted y'all to look at here as she backs up, resets the line from the clinch and backs Clarissa in the corner is that the girl will land her punch. This is one of the few times that she does throw punches in bunches, but as you can see, if you open up and you leave a window, I believe that that's the shot that had Clarissa Shields blind from my, um, from from what I seen in this fight. But um she will land her punch and she has a way of putting pressure on you without leaning on her jab to a point to where you can counter it. Yeah you know I mean and um I, I at times it looked like she's abandoning the jab but she's just putting so much pressure on you. A lot of fighters do that where they um they they put pressure on you from walking in your space and she just walks you down and then um she's such a big girl she has the advantage once she does close the distance so i really look for um franchise design cruise to bring her legs with her through to this fight her legs is gonna carry her through this fight she's gonna have to do a lot of t turn in savannah marshall she's gonna have to stay more active than savannah marshall savannah marshall suffered rounds where she threw um Four punch where she landed four punches. Another round in this fight with Clarissa, where she landed six and nine punches. She can't have rounds like that against Franchine Jazern Cruz. Those rounds like that could end in a stoppage for Franchine because she fights with such a rage and it's such an orchestrated rage, which we gonna see if um if we're blessed enough to have the zone let this film through. But if not, it's an orchestrated rage and she can fight off the front and the back foot. However, this can be draining when you talk about a fight that's going on for 10 rounds as we can see Clarissa Shields land that straight right hand. And um, and I say that that was the punch because you can notice how she protects her left her um, right eye in the, at this moment in this fight and she really leans on her power punches a lot to do so. So I really do believe in the power of Savannah Marshall and um, I think that if if Dejern Cruz don't bring her legs to the fight with her then uh, then later on and have it mentally to um, keep that type of pressure and to believe in her power enough to um, continue to do so so with that being said, man, y'all know what it is. I appreciate y'all. I love breaking down this fight. I'm picking Franchine Jazern Cruz to win this fight. Y'all hit the comments. Let me know who y'all got. Man, Friday we will be live, man. I promise you that. And um, I appreciate y'all, man. We sinking our teeth back in the sport of boxing, man. So go ahead, ride with us. Tap in with us until we tap out, man. It's been...
um, a, a great breakdown. I love this fight, man. I love this fight for women's boxing. I love what this fight does for women boxing. So um, I applied both of these women on, on making this happen, as well as both promotional companies and everybody that's a part of this fight. Um, down to Clarissa Shields sparring with um, Fresh Shine, Jazern Cruz, which I believe is going to be another determining factor. Because um, not only has French Shine had a tougher career and took the tougher fights, we know fighting um, what was proven to be a man at one point in her career with the Jimenez fight. So uh, French Shine and then fighting Clarissa Shields first. So I definitely want to tip my hat off to um, trainer Barry Hunter, French Shine, Dejan Cruz as a woman. Um, everybody that's a part of the HH Diva Camp Big Book. Um, we applied y'all with what y'all done with um, the, the lemons that, that life gave y'all. And um, that's the reason that I'm picking her to win this fight. But y'all know what it is, man. We gearing up for Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. I got part one. I already uh, uh, in the lab about to drop this week right behind this. So um, we going to see what the zone going to do about these Aaron Wrights. And then to the, um, to the sponsorships. And PBC, man, I appreciate everything y'all did for OTB, man. But we full-time in boxing, man. So all of the content creators, tap in with your boy, man. Class is dismissed on Fresh Shine, Jazern Cruz, and Clarissa Shields.